an unwelcome soundtrack for the city. People's daily lives punctuated by the threat of Russian missiles. Air alerts here in Kyiv are sometimes triggered multiple times a day. Mobile technology is helping to notify people of the threat so they can seek shelter. I usually use the air alert map in the app because it's quick and you can see how intense the alert will be and how long it will last. Currently there are problems with the fact that sometimes we don't have a proper power supply in the city. Thus there is no reception, so the notification may not come. But it's cool that we have apps like this. Many residents relocate to Kyiv subway system during air alerts. It boasts the deepest station in the world. As well as having metro stations like this for shelter, Kyiv also has air alert systems on the city streets. But for those living in rural areas, having alerts on your phone can be even more important. Ajax Systems has been making security technology products since 2011. When the war escalated a year ago, they got to work on an app that sends air alerts directly to roughly 15 million people who have downloaded it. Ajax works with Ukraine's Ministry of Digital Transformation to get information to the public. And actor Mark Hamill has returned as Luke Skywalker to record the app's English language version. May the force be with you. The most important thing is to get feedback from real people that uh, say that uh, this app uh, saves their lives. And we have such feedback uh, both from civils and from army people. Kyiv's government updated its app just days after the military conflict began last February. Kyiv Digital offers a range of services, from paying for parking and public transit tickets to receiving air alerts and information on where to find shelter from missile strikes. The city's deputy mayor says speed is a priority. You have to get dressed and get to the shelter, which is already three to five minutes. So if a person receives a delayed notification or doesn't hear the speaker from the street, we can lose a life. For many residents, these apps have become essential. But the hope is the threat of attack will end and they can be deleted as soon as possible. Liam Denslow, CGTN, Kyiv.